what's up guys so how's everyone doing i hope everyone's having an amazing day if you're new to my channel welcome if you're old to my channel welcome back today i'm gonna be doing a highly requested video a lot of people have been messaging me asking me how i'm doing where i've been have i been at the dollar tree of course i will never stop going to the dollar tree because we save a lot of money going to the dollar tree and excuse me i need to take a look okay so definitely let's jump into this and i want to know i want to ask you guys a question i want you to comment down below if you experience going to family dollar and finding things much more expensive than you find at Dollar Tree and it's the same name brand and it's the same everything, but they trying to sell it to you for three or four dollars more. I don't know what's going up with that, but anyway, let's get started with this Dollar Tree haul. And um, the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this durable, very well made um, screen protector. I, I'm always purchasing these. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I get like four or five of them if they're in stock because usually they're not in stock. Like they have these. And the next time you go, they don't have none. So every time I go, I pick up four or five of them because thanks to this, this has saved my screen so many times. I'm so clumsy with my phone. And yes, if you find these, definitely purchase them because they're really good and they will save your screen. Another thing I have is this case that I found, which re looks very durable, very strong made, very well made, but it does not fit my phone. So if anybody has use for this out there, it's for a, for it says a 6.5 or a 0.5 or 6.5 or 6.5.5, which I was thinking it was the 6 or the 6S. And it's obviously not because I have the 6S and it does not fit my phone. So if anybody, again, has any usage for this please let me know in the comments down below and i'll mail it out to you um this also i found which is the um gauges for the um apple earphones the wireless ones and i don't even know why they made this because they make a problem to make a solution to make a problem so i don't even know but whatever i just purchased my daughter the wireless apple earphones and i just thought i'd pick this up for her Another thing I found were these two, and I believe my daughter purchased these already, and I don't want to open them because the the plastic, I took out the plastic to see the quality, and um, it's going to fall. So wait, let me see if I can show you guys. That's the highlight, and this is the bronzer. Another thing I found were these deep conditioners, these leave-in conditioners. Well, are they leave-in conditioners? Deep conditioners. These are deep conditioners, and they're very well made. Like, they're not drippy, and they smell so good. Like, they smell so good. I really, really bought them. I don't even care how they work. I just want that smell in my hair because this smells so good. Anything coconut, oh, my God, I've been loving I don't like coconut to eat, but I do love the smell of coconut. Another thing that I found that I was super excited about was this Pond's. And this is the spot treatment, and it's like um, correcting cream. It says dark D three dark spot color correcting cream, and it looks like that. And excuse my fingers, I really need to go do my nails. I really do. And if you got a mouse in your house like me, you know half of your products is gonna be open because the little mouse in the house got in your products, and those are my kids. Well, my kids, my kid, because I only got one. But she got into this. This glue is very good. It's like freaking crazy glue. And you can go buy crazy glue for like 4 or $5 when you can get that at the Dollar Tree. And I got another one of these. And usually everything I buy, I buy two of because of my little mouse. Like, she likes getting into my things. So I just buy her her own. Another thing that I was on the hunt for was this um, e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating, hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser which works really, really well. And I just think it's like um, Vaseline because it feels like a Vaseline, like the consistency is the same thing as Vaseline. So you just spread this like all over your face on top of your makeup and then you just wipe everything off and it comes right off. It really does. Like this really does work. So if you find those, also purchase a couple of them because they will be gone the next time you go. 
another thing I found was this and I was super excited because I usually buy these in the Pine Soul or the uh, Lysol um, name brand but I already like used one of these I have another one over there and it smells awesome so definitely it's kind of like the Fab Fabrosco <clears throat> that they sell at the Dollar Tree also Another thing I found that I was excited about was this Pantene, which I don't really use Pantene shampoo because for some reason I don't know what it is, but it makes my hair fall out. So I found this, which is a leave-in conditioner, leave-on cream, revitalizes weak, weakened hair to the, to the tips with a blend of natural delivered ingredients. So it looks like that. And let me tell you, this was not in the Bronx. I did not go to the Dollar Tree in the Bronx because if you go to the Dollar Tree in the Bronx, you won't find crap. And if you do find crap, you better get it. You better get it because if not, the next time you go back, they're not going to have it. They're definitely not going to have it. Another thing we found was this edge control, and it's really good quality also, which I don't even know why my daughter purchases this because, well, she does kind of sometimes do braids in her hair. She does hairstyles where she puts her hair back and pulls out her baby hair, so maybe it's for that. I don't know. She just be throwing stuff in the cart. And I'll just be like, whatever, at the end. It's a dollar. And then also, I found this Vidal Sassoon. And this is also, I believe, a leave-in conditioner, spray, repair, and finish. And it's by Vidal Sassoon. So, of course, when we see name brand stuff at the Dollar Tree, we try to purchase it and try it out. Why not? Who knows how it got to the Dollar Tree and why it got to the Dollar Tree. But anyway, it's good to always try it out. Another thing I found were these whitening strips. And I always buy the pen. And the pen works really well for me. Like, I can't lie. For a dollar, it works really well. So I now I purchase these. And hopefully they'll work the same. Uh, I found this Little Elf lipstick. That I was super excited because I love the color pink. And even if I don't put it on my lips, I just love the way the packaging is. And uh, right down below, give me a thumbs up if you just purchase something because they're cute. Not because you need them. <laughs> or am I the only one? Another thing I purchased was this basket. And this basket I purchased, honestly, to put like all the wires from my, my chargers and all that stuff. But it ended up with a bunch of crap in it. So excuse everything else that's in here. But I also found this. Um, and I don't even know why I look all used up. Because I just bought it. A Wet and Wild the mouse. The mouse again probably got into it. It look all furry and crap. Another thing I found was this, was these fruits, and I have all the fruits, but of course the mouse took half of them because she um, decided that she can um, just pick whatever she wants out of the bags and take it to her room and make it hers. But um, I kind of did buy her two of them because um, just putting them in her backpack and taking them to school and having some moisturizer for her hands during class or when she washes her hands after using the potty at the school. The potty. Ooh, I'm trying to be a professional and stuff. Ooh, the potty. Another thing that I was super excited to find that I've never seen at the Dollar Tree was this Christmas little collection. And I know it's far from Christmas time, but the, the, the way time is flying, girl, Christmas will be here before we know it. Um, This is a de uh, cake decorating Christmas cakes kit. Tools and uh, recipes to make all these cakes, cookies, and more. So it looks like this. And I don't know, for some reason, they like smash up this box. So this is a nice little book that it comes with, I guess, to like show you. Let me see. Oh, well, it's not open. I guess I'll maybe try to do. Oh, well, look, I can take it out. So it's a book like this, and it just shows you everything you can make with this kit. And it just gives you like different cool ideas and I thought it would be great to have it and also I purchased two of these and I purchased it mainly I'm not gonna lie for the stand I can do so many different like designs with the stand like even though it has the Christmas theme on it I'll glue something on it and just make it neutral like white so that and I'll have the Christmas one to the side 
But it does come with a lot of stuff in it, and this book doesn't want to go back in. But it looks like this, and in this package, there are three snowflake cutters, tree decorating cutters, 12 cupcake wraps, and holiday cake stand. So as you guys can see, that's what it comes with. And it got a book on the side, and I'm going to show you guys the back because it's supposed to show you, like, everything you can make with this kit, which I thought was absolutely cool. Like, even if I don't use it just for Christmas, it's fine. Like, a dollar? Why not? Why not? Anything I find that's good, and I feel like it's ten times more worth what it should be worth. I purchase it because you know you're not gonna buy stuff at the Dollar Tree and these are the kind of like I just wanted to show you guys an example I don't know if I said it because I attempted to make this video so many times so I don't know what I said in this video and what I didn't say that I was supposed to say but anyway I use these containers like different containers I found a couple of different containers to make my daughter a um, makeup um, like a makeup holder and uh i've been looking everywhere to try to find also comment down below if you know where i can find a reasonable price makeup um i don't even know storage a makeup storage or whatever like those stands that they make to pull your makeup i made her one of those out of these and out of different shapes that they had at the dollar tree if you guys want to see um just comment down below. I'll try to see if I can like make a little video showing you guys what I made But that one was just like left over Another thing I purchased for the first time and I actually took one out because I wanted to see how it smell And you know, I put this inside my um like vapor smeller I don't even know what to call it Like I have this thing that throws out vapor, but it's not as you supposed to like drop something in it So it could the vapor could smell like whatever you drop in it so I actually put one of these in there, and I don't know, it says <laughs> garbage disposal cleanser. So I don't even know, I made, I made my own, I made my own use for it. I'm gonna actually put these, I bought these actually to put them in the bottom of the garbage can. I don't know, I used to buy mothballs, but I'm not feeling the way moth, moth, mothballs smell, so. Another thing I found was this Toppy Clear um, Number One Skin Lightening Cream, which I've never seen at the Dollar Tree. And if you guys didn't see my live, I was talking about how biotin almost ruined my life, which is, that's a story time coming soon. Um, I'm going to make a the whole video about that. But yeah, so I bought this to like lighten the spots that I have that are darkened due to my acne. Or due to the damage that the biotin did to my skin. I always pick up one of these. These glues are very, very good. Like if something breaks, you can fix it really quick with this. These are really, really good. And I also made a frame. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which I've been trying to make it bigger. Like I want to make it bigger than what I made it. I only used four frames to do this one. And I took, like, all my Snapchat funny filtered pictures and just made, like, a collage out of them. And if you guys want to see that, please comment down below and let me know. And I will, um, another thing I purchased were these non-slip shelf liners. And I've never noticed these at the Dollar Tree. I actually bought the ones that, um, that are kind of, like, foamy and kind of thick. So when you put, like, your dishes on them, they can dry, but it won't mess up your counter. So I just purchased these to put them inside of where I put my oil and I put my vinegar and I put my rice and all my stuff because as I take stuff out, you know, stuff falls down. So I'm, I opened this one up so you guys can see. I've actually seen these at Walmart for $3.99. So I was like, I'm definitely going to pick those up because I could put those inside the cabinets. Stuff won't be sliding around. If anything drips, I could just pull it out, pay another dollar and buy another one. So... Yeah, and me, I try to stay stick with black with my kitchen because, I don't know, everything seems to get like greasy and yellow spots and I really don't like that. I found this big, big old Ajax for $1, which they sell the discount for $1.29, so I was like, why not pick it up for a dollar if I'm going to pick it up anyway? Like, Ajax is a gotta have in my house. Ajax and Clorox and ammonia is like a gotta have. I've always, 
I don't know why, which they're so strong. Like, the chemicals are so strong in Clorox and ammonia. And in, um, what was it I was talking about, which I don't even know, because I change the subject, like, every two seconds. But anyway, I found, I remember they were going around these boosters, which I loved. And I had purchased from the Dollar Tree, which were, like, little pink pebbles. And now they came out with these, which are scented booster. And these have, like, citrus scents. But they smell so good. I haven't used them yet, so I can't tell you guys how they work. If they leave your clothes smelling like this. I don't know if they make your clothes soft. I'm not sure. So I'm definitely going to try these. And I'll let you guys know in my next video if they were good or if they weren't. Um, I'm starting to purchase these instead of a big 2-liter Pepsi. Because the 2-liter, for some reason, gets flat really quick in my house. Because we don't really drink a lot of soda. We try to drink, like, Gatorade and water. I'm trying to stick to a lot of water because my skin really does need to be hydrated. And look, this is the cup that they had at Family Doll with all the makeup in it. It says, LA Color Cosmetics. I love makeup. Hashtag, I love makeup. So, when I find these, I pick them up because in the regular store, they're like two something. Nah, not even like two something, like three something. So, I definitely always, like I said, this is a guy to have in my house, the ammonia. I picked up these two for now. I usually pick up like the big bounty 20 pack, which I'm going to purchase today. But I always pick these up because I know that I fry me and I fry stuff. And I always like to put a napkin like when I make tacos or I make anything that's like hand food. I like to like give them a napkin under the plate, you know, so they can clean their hands and not be greasing up all my stuff. I found these pamper sensitive wipes and I bought these for me for the bathroom like when I'm going out somewhere and uh, I want to have some sensitive wipes like I don't know for some reason I purchased like the, the other ones that come with a lot and I don't know I don't know I'm not feeling them because they like irritate me a little so I purchased these which are by pampers and they're sensitive and how many come in here? 18. 18 wipes, which is not really bad for a dollar. And being the Pamper name brand is pretty cool. Another thing I purchased, which I use when I don't have, like, regular fabric softener, which I most of the time do have regular fabric softener because I buy, like, the big bottle of soap and I buy the big bottle of fabric softener. But I guess, like, we ran out of fabric softener for some reason and we still have soap. So I was like, I could use this. For, like, the little things that we really don't, like, for to wash my um, mop and uh, to wash, like, the cloths to do the dishes and, like, underwear and, like, little things that I don't wash in the washing machine. Another thing I found that I was super excited and I still haven't even tried these. They look like this and this video is going to be very, very long. So, I hope you guys got some patience with me. Because you was asking for this, so I want to spend a quite a quite a little amount of money, which I might be going today back to the Dollar Tree because. And I found these new little, I don't even know. I've never seen them. I've never seen anyone haul them. Look at how super cute. I should have got some more. I should have got some more of these. These are so cute. Yes, look. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. I don't know how's the pigment on this. Let me kind of just. Oh, it's not even a lipstick. It's not even a lipstick. It's a lip gloss. Woo! I love this. 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 Color Blam by LA Color. Oh my god. This is so cute. And excuse me, that I'm not showing my fingers, but my pinky got caught in the freaking door and my freaking nail fell off and everything. And I haven't been able to like do my nails or do anything to my hands. Another thing that I found that I seen at Family Dollar for like two something was this Ambi soap. And I love this soap. Like I love the 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 skin lightening treatment and they also have this in black soap so if you see it at the dollar tree definitely pick up a couple of bars they only have one left because i know 
somebody saw it. Somebody saw it and somebody racked up. Another thing I found, which I've been putting, like, since I, I don't know if you guys heard my life, but if you didn't hear my life, I got a lot of acne due to biotin. So now what I do is I buy these chippy chappy, um, but I'm telling you, they smell so good. I buy these and I put my biotin inside these when I wash my hair. I like wash and rinse with my, like my regular good shampoo and then I'll wash and rinse with these and have zinc in one and biotin in the other so that my hair can get the vitamin somehow since I can't drink the vitamin. And another one of these. Another thing I found was this light, right, left, center. If you guys have not played this game, this game is like 15 bucks at Walmart. If you look for it, it's called right, left, center. This one is called left, right. I mean, left, center, right. And this is a super fun game. And it's supposed to be played with like $3, but... Um, you can play it with, I guess, like these little chips for kids since they don't have money. But this is a super cool game. If you finally get it, it's super cool for you to play in like a big circle with like all your family at a family event or a family party, some type of holiday, some type of birthday party. It's super fun to play. Just if you get this and you don't know how to play, hit me up in the comments. I'll let you guys know how to play. This is so cool and so fun. It's not a game I think you can play on YouTube, but it is a game you can play with all your family. Like, you can play this with, like, 50 people, 20 people, 10 people, 9 people, 2 people, 3 people. It's more, the more people, the more fun it's going to be. So, if you guys see this, pick it up. Pick it up. And I noticed that the Dollar Tree has been having a lot of games that, um... They've been having a lot of games that they sell at the big stores for really expensive, but they just have, like, the bootleg version. So, I also found this sticker that says, with love, and it looks like that. And I paid a dollar, and if I show you guys the two big ones that I found, I found two big wall mules at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to put it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's XOXO underscore Jillian, I believe. If not, I'll be writing it down the, down in the description. I'll link my Instagram so you guys can go check me out. I do, like, little comedy skits. And, um, yeah, I just do, like, little fun stuff on there. All right, and the last two things that I purchased that was also a repurchase that I purchase all the time are the um, Betty Crocker cookies and the Betty Crocker cornbread muffins. I also buy the... Um, uh, brownies. I also buy the other cookies. I bought the macadamia and the butter pe the pe pecan. I think I've been saying pecan my or pecan my whole life wrong because people just be looking at me like pecan, butter pecan, yeah pecan or whatever bougie. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I hope you guys um, continue to support my channel. I will continue to support yours. Please let me know down below. If you're new to my channel and you want me to go check out your channel, we can. Also, they have like this new link that you can um, send each other messages, share your videos on there. So if anybody is interested, please request me on there. Um, I'll accept your request. And we could just like conversate and talk and just have a little fun. But stay tuned real soon. I'm going to be making a story time to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that. And also, I'm trying to bring my channel back. Um, like I said, YouTube has been very discouraging because of the things I like to say and the things I like to talk about on YouTube. I don't think it's appropriate for every type of audience, but I usually have, like, adults on my channel, so I have a yuck mouth, which is really bad. But anyway, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, just leave me a comment down below so I can know you pass by. Love you guys. I see you very, very soon with my story time. And I'm sorry I haven't been doing any mukbangs. A lot of people have been asking me about that, but I'm trying to lose weight. I've got a vacation blast to Miami, and you know, got to be trim and fit. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for stopping by. Love you guys. Bye.